channel my name is Chelsea if you are new and if you're not new then welcome back um, this morning today it is Sunday September 11 2022 and it is currently like almost 8 a.m. Um, and as you see I am studying scripture right now for the month of September God has me reading the book of Isaiah and so each day I am reading two chapters a day right now I am on chapters 21 and 22 and as you guys saw, I highlighted, um, <laughs> it matches, um, I highlighted a scripture in chapter 22 that really stood out to me. Um, sometimes I get questions about, you know, how to study the Bible or, you know, how to hear from God um, and like, you know, where to start when building the relationship with God and things like that. Um, and I'm not going to get into that right now, but what I will say is for me, my in my studying of scripture how i study scripture is um like this morning i was reading chapter 22 verse 11 and it really stood out to me because it said between the city and i'm sorry i'm reading the nlt version this is the um new life application study bible i've had it since 2017 when i took it took my relationship with god serious um and so yeah that's what this is this is in the new living translation so chapter 22 isaiah chapter 22 verse 11 and it says between the city walls you build a reservoir for water from the old pool but you never ask for help from the one who did all this you never considered the one who planned this long ago and that really stood out to me because it's talking um the message is to jerusalem the israelites the people of god um, and the prophet Isaiah is telling them what the Lord is telling him to tell them, which is that, you know, they're preparing for war at this time. And he's like, OK, I see you getting your weapons. I see you getting all of these things. But you never came to me for help. You never asked me to help you. You never asked me for strategy. Right. Um, and so in this Bible that I have, it has commentary at the bottom, which helps you to understand what the scriptures are saying. Um, so that way you can apply it to your life. Right. So for the for this particular scripture, it says the leaders of Judah did what they could to prepare for war. They got weapons, inspected the walls and stored up water in a reservoir. But all their work was pointless because they never asked God for help. Too often we take steps that, although good in themselves, really won't give us the help we need. We must get the weapons and inspect the walls, but God must guide the work. And that really stood out to me because it allowed me time to think, okay, where have I not asked God, you know, to help me, right? Um, and just thinking back to times and times past where I, you know, situations came up or I got myself into predicaments and I could have prevented it, you know, had I asked God for help, had I asked God for strategy, had I asked God for wisdom, all of those things. So this was just like a great reminder to me to say, Lord, one, show me where I have not been inviting you in, where I have not been asking for your help, but also Lord, Help me to do that. Help me to constantly keep you at the forefront of my mind, the forefront of my decisions, the forefront of my behavior, and my actions, um, so that I'm led by you, that I'm not led by my flesh, I'm not led by society, I'm not led by culture, I'm not led by what I think is best, but that I'm truly led by your Holy Spirit, right? 
Um, so yeah, that's just how I study scripture. Um, I read until I find something that really st sticks out to me. Um, some th that's just what I'm doing right now. Sometimes I will see a word and I'll go look up what it means. Um, I may look up the Hebrew or the Greek version of the word. Um, if you didn't know, I went to college uh, and I got my bachelor's in religious studies. It's not the same as seminary, but um, in religious studies, you learn how to study religion from an academic perspective, right? And not just Christian Christianity, but all like religions, right? You're just learning to know what the religion is, what it's about, yada, yada, yada. Um, and so for me, that has been helpful in me studying the scriptures because I study it both from a faith perspective, like I believe what it's telling me, and also I study it from an academic perspective of, okay, let me understand what these words mean. Let me understand the historical context of this. Let me understand the economic standpoint of this, right? All of those things, because the Bible is not just a book, right? It's not just a fairy tale. It's not just a novel, right? It is literally history, economics, finance or finance is economics um relationships um psychology right spirituality like it all of that is encompassed in the scriptures but if you do not ask god to guide you to give you a heart to understand his word to read his word it's going to be very difficult for you to understand what is happening and what he's saying right so yeah so i'm just going to continue um studying i'm almost done and then we are going to watch a church service um i really want some coffee <laughs> um so yeah but um yeah that's it hope you guys have an amazing day i will check in with you guys a little bit later um and yeah have a great week peace
good morning happy monday it is monday september 12th um 12th 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 yeah um it's 7 40 a.m um as you guys saw i made my green like water um i'm trying this new thing where i'm in taking my greens in the morning um to help like detox help with like bloating i don't know i look a little bloated right now i'll probably have to use the bathroom but yeah i'm trying to help with this area and just digestion in general and so i did some research found that product at whole foods um so i'm trying it out it is the berry flavor i've heard of bloom um if you guys are familiar with bloom they also have like the uh supplements as well with the green stuff so um yeah i'm gonna try this out um i've already tasted it before it, it is an acquired taste i'm gonna let y'all know that now um so i'm just gonna try to drink it drink it drink it down like chug it down um and hopefully that helps um i've also been drinking kombucha once a day to help with pro to, to help with um intaking probiotics and also gut health and things like that like i said this week is our reset week this week is our week to get back in our bag um and to just you know keep going so yeah um what's on the schedule for today today i'm gonna be reading isaiah again some more i'm on chapters 23 and 24 today um i don't start work until 9 a.m so i'm gonna take molly outside go work out and then come back take a shower and then get my day started um so yeah let's go ahead and check this down because the longer i let it sit i'm not gonna drink it oh my back hurts okay It just tastes really earthy so if you like that taste and you'll like it it's not terrible right it's just like you can taste maybe it's a powder i think that's what it is the powder um mixed with the earthiness too all right let's go back done oh oh now that was my first time drinking that full thing um so let's see how it works um but yeah i'm proud of myself now um let's go take molly outside peace y'all i'm hot as you see i have switch chair um i put my wig on my cap so it's going to the grocery store which I want to show you guys what I got. Um, walking, that's my exercise, is walking to the grocery store. Boom. Orange juice, I don't like pulp in my orange juice. They didn't have the Simply, so I just got Tropicana. Got some onion, I got an onion to make for breakfast. I'm making shrimp and grits. Um, so yeah, then I got the vine tomatoes. I love these on my avocado toast and sandwiches. Peeled garlic, because I like to add this to flavor my food. Green beans to go with my meal prep for this week. I made salmon with a sweet potato, so I got some greens to go with that. This these are lobster tails. I got three. I love to like grill lobster tails. So yeah, I'm gonna make a dish with this. Then I got my shrimp um, to make my shrimp and grits. I got some tur peppered turkey sausage um, for my breakfast. Next up, got some grits. Okay, Southern Girl Life, okay. I got some andouille sausage to go with my shrimp and grits. More greens. I got broccoli. Some fruit. Mangoes. I love mangoes. Watermelon. I love watermelon too. More greens. I got Brussels sprouts. I love to put these in the air fryer. 
and then y'all finally got me some coffee okay because i like to make my coffee at home so i got these starbucks medium roast unsweetened coffee um yeah i love this stuff really really good and then i got the so i got two creamers but this is what i'm really excited so if you guys saw i have the little frother thing now i got from amazon for like 10 bucks um so i use that for my greens in the morning but i also use it for my coffee and i got the um khalifa khalifa farms oat creamer in vanilla to mix with my coffee and but y'all they had this um the ice cafe mixers vanilla sweet cream baby oh my goodness i love so i love starbucks uh, vanilla sweet cream cold foam so what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna attempt to do is take this and like froth it and then layer it on top of my iced coffee oh baby i'm excited to try this so if you guys want to get it it is the i got it at whole foods it's the khalifa farms ice cafe mixers vanilla sweet cream and it's oat milk and almond milk blend just fyi so yeah, I'm gonna put these groceries up and then we're gonna get cooking. Chanel um, perfume. This is the Coco Mademoiselle. Is it on focus? Yes. So, yes, I'm excited to try this out. It smells really good. I like that. Um, I love getting samples from Sephora. So, yeah. Um, I also got the Peace Out Acne Dots. Y'all, these right here are the truth. These right here are the truth. Okay. Um, whenever I have breakouts, um, y'all probably saw I have breakouts. I wish I would have had these. That's why I got these, um, because they really do work, um, and they help bring the pimples to a head quickly. So that way you don't have any scarring or anything like that. Um, I picked up another pack of my face, what are these, facial cotton. Um, I use these when I do my toning, um, to wipe on my face and things like that. So I love these. These are very soft. Um, they're really inexpensive too. Um, but I just love the packaging. You get 165 sheets. These last a good little minute, okay? Um, I picked up some, the TikTok girlies had me pick up the glycolic acid 
from the ordinary to help with um like if you have dark underarms which mine aren't that dark but i do have like dark spots as well as like bikini area too so i want to try it on that um so yeah i just got that then i got samples of the what is this k skin lip balm i don't know if it's gonna focus yeah got that and then a sample of the Biance squalene squalane and tea tree balancing oil never heard of this before i didn't even know i had that in there um but yeah that's it that's all i got um today we are i literally went to bed at like two this morning um and i'm already up again i stayed up working on like graphics for our social media for zion as well as um working on a product that's going to be coming out which i'm very excited about um we're still in the thick of the fundraising campaign so far we've raised 300 dollars. the goal is 30k to bring the women's talk show together um you can find it on instagram i'll leave the links down below um, if you're interested in donating the purpose of the talk show is to create a safe space for women um, to receive healing restoration therapy um for a, a literally like a one hundredth of the cost of regular therapy um so yeah so that is what the show will be about um i'm super excited i'm super excited about the women that will be a part of the show um for our first season as well as season two um so yeah so i'll be continuing to work on that today um, i'm trying to think do i have any meetings today I don't have any meetings, but tomorrow um, I'm going to be meeting up with a girlfriend of mine out here and we are going to be making sushi. So I'll definitely vlog that for you guys so you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to get ready for the day um, and get started on work. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, well, I'm back. It's later in the day, it's currently 326. I just finished um, filming a sit down video, um, which will be airing next week on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, I also got my nails done today. We just did a lilac color. I don't know if it's focused, but yeah, we did a lilac color. Na excuse me, natural nails. I took off those long nails. Um, and then I also heated up my shrimp and grits from the other day. I didn't get to show you guys me making it, but baby, bomb. Okay. Still crunch. Oh. But I'm going live on Instagram tonight to talk about the talk show which I'm very excited about. And that's in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to write out my notes that I wanna go over for that to make sure I include everything. Um, kind of just relax until then. And afterwards, that's it. I'll be done with that. Peace. Y'all, let me just tell you today, first of all, let me say today is Wednesday, September 14th, I think, yeah. Um, it's like 10.55 a.m. I'm currently making breakfast. I'm having leftover shrimp and grits with some watermelon and orange juice. Um, but today's a really good day. Like, it was prophesied to me that this week would be a really good week, a week of celebration, and baby, it has, okay? Like, the Lord has been coming through. Um, The Lord has been coming through with donations for our show. Um, I literally just got off the phone earlier this morning um, with two powerful women um, that I have connection with, that God has blessed me to have connection with, who have been a major blessing in my life. Um, and one of them actually presented me with an opportunity tonight. Um, so I'm very, very excited to go to this event. Um, and then another woman who I met last week um, just texted me and just to see how God is connecting me with powerful women specifically 
um, and placing my names in rooms and spaces and allowing me to, to enter rooms and spaces that I did not think was possible, that I did not know I could, you know, was a thing. I'm just so, 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 so grateful and so thankful and so blessed and favored um, and just excited for what God is doing and just to continue to keep going. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so today's just an amazing day. So I have some errands to run. Um, tonight is sushi night. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like if you are a business owner, entrepreneur, like keep going, put yourself out there, go to the, go to the places, go to the events, go to the meetups, the workshops, whatever it may be, you know, connect, network with people, build relationships. Um, yeah. And just watch what God does. That's all. That's it. That's the message. Um, I'm about to eat my breakfast, uh, continue on in my day, but I will check in with you guys later. Um, when I go to the grocery store to get the items for sushi night. Peace. Hey guys, we are back from the grocery store. I put my hair up in this claw clip because baby, it is hot and walking. Whew. And with groceries, okay. next level workout, okay? So I went to Whole Foods and Ralph's. Um, so let me show you what we got for tonight. So I got seaweed. Um, this is the Eden version. Sushi Nori is what they call it. I got two packs. Um, one for me, one for my homegirl. Um, sushi rice. I got oyster sauce. I forgot what we use this for, but uh, yeah, I got that. I got white sesame seed to top the sushi with. I have tuna steak, raw tuna steak, smoked salmon, sushi ginger. I love sushi ginger. And I got cucumbers. That's all I got from Whole Foods. Now from Ralph, Ralph's, I got saran wrap. Um, so this is for to cover the sushi board. So I bought a sushi making kit from Amazon. Um, and so it comes with the wooden mat that you use to roll your sushi on. But I saw in the videos that you are supposed to put saran wrap or plastic wrap over the mat to help it to not stick to the mat. So that's why I got this. I got tempura batter because I'm gonna make tempura shrimp. I got some miso soup mix. Y'all, I had a field day at the grocery store, as you can see. Like, I did not know they had all this stuff here. And I love Asian food, so yeah. We got some miso soup, so we're gonna have miso soup with our sushi. Cream cheese. Surimi seafood, which is like what they use to put in the sushi. Um, it's almost like imitation crab meat, but I did get imitation crab meat as well. I got this, I got this surimi um, because one of the recipes called for it. And then I got, whoop, I got a packet of shrimp, which I need to clean this because it's leaking. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's what I got from the grocery store. My homegirl is going to be over here around 6.30. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to make some sushi. I'm waiting on my Amazon package to deliver. Um, so it'll be here in a couple of hours and uh, yeah, we can get the show on the road. All right, peace. It's interesting because like I will not eat seaweed necessarily by itself, Ooh. but I'll eat it with sea with uh, sushi. I will tear some seaweed up by itself. Some um, sea salt seaweed. You eat the rough side up. Rough okay. side up. Okay. I'll eat it by itself. So yeah. this side. Up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like how do you yeah. enough? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we gotta lay it up. Okay, we wet our fingers and then we spread some of the rice evenly onto the sheet. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can actually switch it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm glad the rice is actually sticking. I was a little nervous. I'm like, I don't know. But I mean, I followed the instructions, so like it should, so it should work. So.
So guys, as you can see, we are making sushi. sushi. And this is Shay, by the way. Hey. Me and Shay met background acting mm -hmm. out here in LA. Okay, the eel sauce is not as thick. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, it's it. not as thick as normal. Okay. And the recipe that I found, the one of the person people had commented was that they use cornstarch to thicken it. it. But I don't have the cornstarch. All I have is flour. Um, I use a little bit of that, but we have the oyster sauce if we need to. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going up with my. Oh, you know what? One, I wonder if it's like, you know how like, oh, you know what? What if we did it like this? Mm -hmm. See how I'm doing it? Okay. Like that, so it's not we're not folding it in. <laughs> Smart related. So let's yeah, do this. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So like, hold it like this, but uh -huh. just roll it like into that. Like, oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. okay. Now it says to cut it in half. I'm gonna roll this back up a little bit. This is a big boy. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> no. Count your days. Well, I'm gonna come back for the bread. Yeah, but. but what we got we got our miso soup right here homemade eel sauce our rolls okay fresh ginger soy sauce miso soup her rolls look so good with the spicy mayo on top okay <laughs> this is amazing Some pearl earrings for my mom did my makeup 
dress from Ross. You guys saw it in my Ross try on haul. I have some cheetah print heels, my white bag, which I always carry. And the fragrance of the night is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Um, this is a meet and greet event with a local organization here. Um, and it was business casual attire. And so I'm excited. I brought my business cards, which I'll show you guys what they look like. brought my business cards um so i'm excited to make these connections i'm currently waiting on my uber um so yeah i'll check in with you guys later peace good morning happy thursday guys um today is thursday september 15th 16th y'all know the day um it's 8 48 a.m um i got back in last night around like one this morning um, I had a really great time. The business dinner was super, super nice. I was able to connect with and meet a lot of people here um, and even connect with some other photographers and um, owners of media companies um, and very prominent people. So I was just so blessed and honored to be in that room. Um, and I even got a date out of it, child. Yes, girl. Um, I ended up going out to eat. Sorry, y'all, my wig is like itching. Um, I ended up going out to eat to this restaurant called Toka Madeira. Um, I'll probably insert some footage of the restaurant because the food was actually pretty good. Um, the guy that I went on the date with, um, he's actually like plant-based. He's a, a doctor child, you know what I'm saying? He's a doctor, um, but he's into like neuropathic medicine and all of that. So we um, we went to Toka Madeira. We tr got some plant-based like taco well quesadillas and tostadas and all that stuff it was really really good um and then he dropped me back off home and yeah i took my makeup off and went to bed baby because i was tired okay um and so now this morning i am getting ready to get up and like clean up y'all know how like y'all like when you get ready right your bathroom looks a mess yeah that's me especially because i was doing my hair right and i just didn't feel like putting it all up last night when I got back in so I'm gonna do that well I just finished doing that now I'm going to get ready to take Molly outside which she's over there Molly say hi to the camera you say hi yeah um so I'm gonna take her outside and then I have work to get done today um I have to send some emails out um and what's today today is Friday yeah it's the weekend um so that's great so i'm gonna finish out this work week um prepare for the weekend and i will check in with you guys a little bit later peace oh i also had a podcast interview yesterday um i know you guys saw in the last vlog that i did the podcast a podcast interview there too it was the same it was for the same um group but the one that we did last week, it the sound was off for some reason. So we refilmed it today or yesterday. So I was able to do that and it came out really, really good. So I'm very happy to share that with you guys when it does come out. So you guys can take a listen and a watch because um, it is a video podcast. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. Peace.